Hi, this is a common scenario. A colleague has asked, uh, it's a seven hour old baby delivered by uh, elective LSES at 38 plus three weeks. The birth weight of uh, 2.6 kilo, good APGAR score, no maternal risk of sepsis. So the baby has been noted to be mildly tachypneic since birth and the tachypnea is persisting more than six hours. So their admission diagnosis is presumed sepsis and uh, tach tachypnea for admission. So the baby was pink, mild tachypnea with mild subcostal attraction. The chest x-ray shows fluid in the transverse fissure and uh, some perihilar granular opacities. Is it uh, TTN or congenital pneumonia? So uh, just a look at the x-ray itself. So you can see uh, reasonably well positioned x-ray and uh, we have the uh, the heart uh, shadow which appears okay. The diaphragm looks normal. The skeleton slight uh, rotation of the spine uh, as you can see here the bending and the clavicle is slightly lifted but not significant and uh, the feeding tube is not seen so that is one comment uh, if baby with respiratory distress especially for non-invasive respiratory support always have a feeding tube before the x-ray so that if any issues with the feeding tube position you can fix it so as he has mentioned there is a uh, very high opacities on both sides a granular pattern and uh, there is a fluid like uh, shadow in the fissure so the x-ray findings for ttn are non-specific uh, hyperinflation usually goes with ttn but it can go with aspiration pneumonia as well and uh, as i've explained before uh, amniotic fluid aspiration can happen in any uh, baby during the delivery process the labor is a stress for the baby and the gasping can happen with the amniotic fluid contents uh, aspirated inside so the fetal lung is filled with fluid uh, but that fluid is clear and uh, when the baby is delivering if there is cord around the neck or cord prolapse or any other concerns plus uh, delayed labor process uh, the baby may aspirate as it happens in meconium aspiration in meconium aspiration there is meconium stained amniotic fluid and as we know the bile acid and other uh, i mean uh, chemical components of the meconium incite a chemical inflammatory response as well as the bile acids have a effect on the pulmonary vasculature so the increase in uh, risk of pphn is more uh, the amniotic fluid has uh, the baby sheds for squamous cells, lanago hair, and uh, all the other components. So it may present just like an aspiration pneumonia, but a milder variant. A slight inflammatory response may happen, and you might see an increase in CRP to say 10s or 20s by the second day. Usually the culture is negative. The baby may need respiratory support for two, three days and then starts improving. So the first point in this baby, I mean, if the baby has a mild tachypnea with an X-ray picture like this, it's always better to give the high flow uh, or CPAP uh, not because the baby needs pressure. The tachypnea is because the baby is working more and the lung might easily close down and result in worsening of the respiratory distress. So make sure you're not just giving nasal oxygen if the saturation is low. Even if the saturation is normal, if the baby has tachypnea and has mild uh, distress with retractions, uh, start high flow or CPAP. I know in the developing countries cost implications may be there for a circuit so you may need to uh, monitor the baby if the baby needs oxygen or 